Hi everyone, we're just doing a bit of gameplay in Baldur's Gate 3. We're going to go into the Goblin Camp and as we go through this, we're going to talk about some of the issues with combat, some tips and tricks that you need to be mindful of and how you can get a better experience from the game. So without further ado, why don't we jump right into BG3. Okay, so you can see here I'm at the camp, or just about to enter the camp, with my character called Jaina. I'm hoping the volume of the desktop audio is loud enough. Let's go in. Now, this was a part of the game where, for me, Really didn't get too far. I'm going to do a bit of exploring around here just to see what's... Oh. Vico, this is off limits. Get to the main gate or... A house. That's rude. Could climb up there, couldn't I? But I'd probably start a battle. And I'm not sure I want to. Let me... Let me... Um... Let them know that I'm with the absolute. A war drum. One of those can summon fighters far. Look it, Claw. Sappers here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight. I seem to have lost some frames per second because I am actually the playing the game in 4K. As the symbol glows. Power courses through you. Authority. Now, I don't want to mention the um, name, Hal Sin. Let's look. I've got a deception check where I can roll and get a plus two for charisma. Um, oh, I can do it by intimidation. There's a greater chance of success so I think I'll go with that one and that's the way you, you can really check and see how your skills check is going to be successful or not just hover over the title where it's appropriate of course so for me definitely intimidation here is going to be of great use to me so I'm going to choose that yep Easily passed. Down, Claw! Bad girl! She's a little overexcited. It's been a busy day. Lads are celebrating. Now, I'll, I'll ask if they've heard of Halsin. Who? If he ain't one of us, and if he's here, he's down in the pits. Down in the pits, no less. Sounds ominous among creatures that love blood sports. Better step to it. Heh. Depends who you are. We're celebrating a raid. No better time in camp than this. Get yourself a bit of fun before it dries up. Yeah, my apologies for the frame rate. Rip the guts out of Joaquin's rest, we did. Inns are good for gutting. Lads even captured some Duke. Worth celebrating, that is. Okay, let's see if we can make our way in. We've got some XP because of that. Stop fidgeting. No one's going to... Please, from the bloody wall. No one's going to mess with us, so... Let's do a bit of exploring. I've never really gone up here before. Just worth taking a look. Now, I'm not going to attempt to steal anything. Let's just go into the camp. Now, I seem to remember there was a trap around here somewhere. 
This is where your perception is really going to be important. Step carefully. There's a trap. There we go. Let's see if I can disarm it. Got to roll at least a 10. Let me add... Uh, oh, my total bonus is only a plus one for dexterity. Is it worth a chance? Let's try it. Oh, terrible. Well, I don't think I'll, I've got the opportunity. Oh, there we go. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Do a short rest. Nice. Just... Get everything back up. There might be another one. So I'll turn back and go into the camp proper. Do some questioning. And an old order on clean off. So much for the flaming fish day. You ain't here. We sacked Joaquin's rest and left it to burn. Flinging magic. No snapping off heads. In's nothing but a pile of ash by now. Glorious. Bunch of prisoners got towed to Moonrise. City snobs mostly. But the flaming fist? Pile of smoking corpses. You ain't know the broken road? <laughs> so this will be important for what happens beyond the end of Act One. No. That's a good sense of direction there. What about the priestess? Why the hell not? The priestess gut! Blessed be to gut! No, I don't want to head over there yet. This is where I remember the game ended um, in early access. So I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go straight into the goblin camp. And I can hear the music already. Oh. Now this is new. I think. Hear my voice. Oh, maybe not. Obey my command. The voice is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others. Only infinitely stronger. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Yes, I remember this. Figures before you. An armored male elf exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the weapon. And you will be worthy to stand beside them. In my presence. The visions fade and the voice falters as a strange energy swells around you. The many-sided artifact. Somehow you understand it's repelling the presence. Oh, I need to get Shadowheart back into this. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws near. The voice is quelled. The artifact's doing... No answer presents itself. The artifact is. I'm going to get Shadow Heart. Visions are gone. 
Sorry, I think I'm a bit too loud there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get Shadow Heart. So who am I going to send back? I think while it's good to have uh, Karlak, she's very strong. I think I'll send her back. Hey, yeah. Oh, come on. You don't mean that. If you insist, I'll make my way back. But don't be long, all right? Right, let, let's go and get... um. Let's go and get Shadow Heart. Oh, she's got some explaining to do. And I think this is part of her story. Now, where is she? Ah, oh, there she is. Hmm. Just thought of something. Karlak and Will seem to have put their differences aside. I thought it was going to come to blows for a moment. I know. I don't understand how exactly, but I felt it go to you. It's important. Keep it close. I do, but the artifact has a will of its own. And that's interesting, I think. It likely won't let me take it back. The best I can do is to stay close. Bide my time. Eventually, I'll need to take it. Then I'll have to see what can be done about that. I suppose if we're going to keep helping each other, I might as well tell you. I was part of a group sent to retrieve it. Bring it to Baldur's Gate for our goddess. Of course. The mistress of the night. It's my mission to deliver the artifact to her secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> it hurts. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. Has her hair grown? She looks like she's got blonde hair. Forever, ideally. And you assume too much about what I can and cannot tell. Ooh, salty. For Shah's children. It is our code, our creed, our shield. I even keep secrets from myself. I had my memories suppressed so that nothing I know could be used against the Dark Lady. Once I prove myself, my memories will be restored. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Though, perhaps that might change, if you can show an open mind. Don't thank me. Oh. I'm breaking Lady Shah's teachings just by doing so. But sometimes you have to be practical. The wound on my hand. This is going to be quite um, a dialogue, I think. Sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. I don't think so, but you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. So we're getting a lot of information about Shadowheart's mission and what she's trying to achieve once, you know, she gets to Baldur's Gate. So we're almost, well, I, I won't say we're at the end of um, Act 1 because there's much, much more to do and there are other places to go. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Okay, so she's with us now, so we can leave camp. And that's the, that's an easy way of going to and from camp. You don't always have to rest. Um, I'm sure most people are discovering that. 
don't always have to rest. Right, let's go in and do what we need to do. Sounds like they've captured themselves a bard. Oh, a stranger in a fair camp. The Apollo, I fall and wide for great with fragulous crown and with scepter a braid. Draw Raglan, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblet kind. Had this is quite a cut scene, I have to say. Penny, so raise it your goblets and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you gallant. <laughs> Come on, you turnip! Oh, rude. Quite so. Now, if you would excuse me. <clears throat> Uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, I am a draw Ragslin. Um, um, Tumptuous, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, um. Lost the words. Wait, oh, wait. Draw Ragslin. We pray. We uh, come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now, look what you've done. Come on! Of course, my name's Gribbo, idiot! Right, yes, not for me. Oh, that's rude. How many did you have? Five? That's nothing. This is going to be my name. No! None of you want to join the chase. Two chicken for the chicken. Having a drink. It's all the sweeto and it's free, isn't it? Where the hell do you get yours? From an inn. Nutty, of course. You won't find much there now. Took all the good stuff before we burned it. Right, let's do a little bit of exploring. Because there are some places I've I've not been to and I'm sure weren't necessarily accessible. So. Ready to get a game going. Just need a contender, you club for cowards. Not really seeing much here and most stuff. If you touch it, um you'll get into trouble. So unless you want to pickpocket um, and you've got to make sure that you've got the dexterity to do so without being caught, you're better off moving on. Now I can see that there is a portal, so I'll just um, activate it. Her patronage couldn't spare this place from goblins, clearly. <laughs> right, let's let's go in because I know what's inside this door. Bloody starving. They finished oh. cooking that stuff. Yeah. A disgusting waste of stonecraft. Now, this is where a lot of stuff happens. He's almost got past. We got him now, eh? Boy, ain't no party in here. We're doing the absolute's work. State your business now. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Again, I'm going to do a skills check and I'm going to use intimidation. 
I even got the guidance bonus from Shadow Heart. Oh wow! I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. That was not good. Good for you. Turn back now, and I won't spread your business all over that wall. Bloody racket. Saluna. So as if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. What's that mean? Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. We might try this again. Already told you to bugger off, didn't I? Let's try this. Oh. Can't go wrong with that. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. Oh, I beg your pardon, Trousseau. At your service, of course. We follow the absolute, and them she speaks through. At first, we thought it were just Priestess Gut and Boss Ragslin. Then the drow came along. And you and all now, I reckon. Go ahead, please. I'm sure you're expected. And... Okay. ...is gathering us all together for something big. There's going to be a massive boss fight coming up soon, I'm sure. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Oi, so much fun that those thieves almost got past. We got them now, eh? Do you hear the Absolute's voice? Do you feel her inside you? I only hear her through you, Priestess. That's because she chose me. You're not worthy yet. Smells like burnt. Now here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you. Hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Uh oh. Now, I'm not sure what to do here. So, I'm not going to be continuing the recording forever. So, if I do the wrong thing and we go into combat. It's probably where I'm going to end it, but I'm going to go with the oath, of the oath of the ancients. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't you? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a power. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess. Receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Let's take a chance and push deeper. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls got to look out for one another. I'm not sure I'll get the healer here, but I'm going to select that. You've come to the right place. With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Oi! Priestess! Like we want the mark! 
Why do they yeah. think they're talking to a god? I'm good enough. I think we're going to end up being locked up. I seem to remember this. We're going to be locked up in a in a jail cell. Oi, come here. I ain't waiting around. I think there's a jail cell, but let's find out. Ready to clear your head? Whatever the absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Everybody else needs to leave. Hmm. Ready to clear your head. Don't want a crowd of gawpers. Okay. Everybody else needs to leave. So I'll break up the party and get them all to leave. Oops, a daisy. Shouldn't have done that. Should have just undone that. And they can come back out here. One. Oh no, that's you. That's me. It's my character. So, get Gale. Get him out here. And then, up here as well. And then, I crave blood. Lazel. All right. What now? Ready to clear your head? Yes. Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the absolute. I'm going to end up in a cell. Do the rest. Don't want anyone peeping on private matters. So. There we go. Secret and safe. Well, secret. Psionic feelers creep across your mind like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. all slippery in there. What are you hiding? This ain't right. Why are you resisting me if you're one with the absolute? You repel her mental probes, concealing your memories. There's something wicked burrowed in your brain. I can't get a grip on it. Let's start praying for help. Okay, well, that, that didn't... What's wrong with you? Best pray to the absolute for help. That didn't end the way I thought it would. So, let's go looking for housing. Here goes nothing. Oh. Wonder what's past this. Wow. All I need to roll is thank you. Okay, let's get the group back together. I know where Halson is. At least I think I do. I do remember there's a pit under there full of um, spiders. Prisoner, 
Here, if you're planning to talk to the drow, watch yourself. She's in a right mood. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Let's go with that. He don't mind. Keeps him safe from me mates. <laughs> Raids make him rabbit. Then catch one on your own. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your lithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Now, I'm going to do that. I don't want no trouble. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite safe. A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. I intend to do just that. A trusty invisibility potion goes a long way in a place like this. <laughs> we mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain. Cage key. I wonder if I can use that elsewhere. I do know there are other cages. No, that's where the spiders. Look at those spiders. Ooh. No dead any heroic. Get down there and stop complaining. Bloody hell! What? Floating eye keeps watch. Best avoid it, or it may spoil the hunt. Okay, I think. Yeah, I think this is probably where we're going to have to stop it for now because we're going to be running out of recording space very soon. So, um, ladies and gents, I think we've just, we've not actually had a lot of combat in this session, but, you know, it's a part of the game. You can see our progress so far, and it is playing in the background. So we'll stop for now, and we'll pick up this episode, and we'll talk a little bit more about how combat can be helpful in the game. Dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. Okay, that's it. We'll see you next time.